I mean, what is this, T-ball? Get over it. Stop being Oprah. I'm kidding, Oprah. And we're already losing by so much. I just did. I'm baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Humbaby Baseball Channel. And apologize for lacking videos. I'm on vacation right now, not at home. But we got things set up, so we'll still be able to make some videos from time to time. But I'm going to be on the road a lot right now, checking out stadiums, doing a lot of vlogs. Look forward to all that stuff. It's going to be coming on the channel really soon. But I did want to talk about this situation. This is some big, getting some big headlines right now. As a White Sox player, Mercedes is up there. He's having a great year. Had a long minor league career. He's trying to get established in the big leagues, trying to get some money in arbitration trying to maybe get a big free agent contract or extension down the road he goes ahead and hits a home run which is a no-no it's absolute no-no especially when you got a 3-0 count apparently and the game is out of hand one of the other unwritten rules and i got to get into this and uh, you know people will be offended because you know the old school baseball fans i get get the comment you know nothing about baseball you know nothing about baseball if you think pitchers shouldn't be throwing at guys heads i've actually gotten that comment um but anyway that being the case whatever you want to say i've been a baseball fan since i've five years old and I'm a diehard 162 games a year played until 26 years old and uh, so I love this game but that being said hey that's say what you want the bottom line is in my opinion I'll just get it right out there this is ridiculous are you kidding me like get over it at some point I understand maybe stealing you know when it's like eight to uh, 18 to nothing and you're stealing second it's like why you know but you know even then like so what? Dude, I mean, what, are you going to cry yourself to sleep because a guy stole a base? I mean, I get it. I can get that. But as far as hitting a home run, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? You got a 3-0 count. You're ready to go. I mean, you want to be nice? I got to be nice? It, it's, it ultimately comes down to I'm going to be nice and not swing. I don't even think that should be a big deal in a little league. Like, you know, over... 12, 13 years old at that point, that should stop being a big deal. I can understand, you know, T-ball. I can understand T-ball. You know, certain certain rules and things, you know, you don't want to embarrass the kids out there and destroy their confidence. Major League? Major League? But getting into the article, as you can see, Tony La Russa pissed off because he swung at a 3-0 pitch in a lopsided win, and then there was pitches thrown and guys dejected the next day, and just it went absolutely crazy. But it's crazy that Tony La Russa is actually saying there will be a consequence that he has to endure here within our family. A consequence. We will not put up with this. It will not happen again. I and the third base coach will be on the lookout, and we will go running in front of the pitcher if we have to to stop this absolutely horrific and terrible thing. That has been done here. I've been watching, like I said, the game since I'm a small child, mid-80s. I mean, I'm going back to the 80s here. So in a lot of ways, I'm old school. I hate most of the rule changes. Um, you know, I like uh, a lot of old school stuff in baseball, and I don't like a lot of the new stuff. So, you know, and a lot of unwritten rules, I understand. This is just going too far with the don't hurt our feelings. This is just going too far. I'm agreeing with Trevor Bauer and others who say that this is just stupid. A guy can't hit a home run. Now, I will say, having said all that, if you got a 3-0 count, you should be looking at your coaches. And if you get the take sign, you should take. I do believe that. you should. If you get the take sign, you should take. So maybe he should be in a little bit of trouble for swinging when you have the take sign. But the reason for the take sign is what's stupid. And it shouldn't even have been a take sign, in my opinion. You got a 3-0 count, man. Go ahead, man. Do what you got to do, man. Help your career out. Swing away. Um, I understand not wanting to embarrass this team when they got a position player out there pitching. But he had already gotten two outs at that time. He was going to get out of the inning. You know, he only needed one more out. Go ahead, man, and hack away, dude. Do, do what you can do. 3-0 count. This is your chance, man. He's going to throw one down the middle. Crush a home run. Grab another home run for your state. We, we, we earned this opportunity by destroying that team and forcing them to put in a position player, which they didn't absolutely have to put in a position player. That's their choice. You put in a position player, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, guys are going to try to smash the ball. So, um, But, you know, ultimately it comes down to what is this? What is this? T-ball being nice? I Like I said, you know, stealing a base or something can be overkill because it's just not necessary to be stealing bases. That's a choice you got to make. But when you're up there hitting, you're up there to hit. You're up there to hit, not get out intentionally or strike out intentionally or take a pitch that you think you can do something, some damage to. And then you end up maybe not getting another pitch. Maybe he ends up walking. Maybe he ends up popping out. Maybe something else. But that was his pitch. Come on now. This is their careers. This dude is, like I said, was a, a lifelong minor leaguer. He needs to establish himself and prove that he's the real deal. 
I just don't understand all that. But let me know what you guys think down below. Give me your thoughts on this whole situation. I believe that, you know, while, like I said, I'm old school in a lot of ways, but in this in this particular instance, like, I, I, I mean, what is this, T-ball? Get over it. Stop being, oh, God, get over it. And we're already losing by so much. I just did. God, please hit that subscribe button and look forward to more videos. I'm on the road right now. We're going to do a lot of vlogs right now, uh, hitting all the minor league ballparks and some of the major league ballparks. So we're going to have a lot of videos on that on site. Um, we'll be back in San Francisco next month. You guys look forward to that. And I'll uh, be hitting, uh, of course, Oracle Park and uh, some of the local parks there as well. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Peace. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.